15 minutes, the best fish curry you've ever done, right? Wow, classic Bengali dish. I, I love fish curries. It's, I, I expect it to, going to be very spicy and watery at the same time. It will um, be interesting to see if she's going to blow my head off or uh, it's going to be very my curry. I hope dessert sounds amazing, basil panna cotta. This is about the balance of the flavour. If you put too much basil in there, it might be overpowering. Hopefully, she's been practising this panna cotta because if it doesn't wobble, she's going to have tears from all of us. I'll be interested to see how they stew the peaches. Are they going to use any spices or it's just going to be normally cooked? And sourdough granola, I think, is going to add nice texture. You've got two minutes, OK? Thank you, Greg. They've been shooting in dessert wine. Oh. Granola. I'm ready. Off you go. Off you well go. Done. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Good job. Good side. So I've made a few desserts of a basil panna cotta with stewed peaches and a dessert wine and a sourdough granola. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Looks pretty oh. wobbly to me. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy with the wobble of my panna cotta. <laughs> so I just hope that I put enough flavour and it was punchy enough and good enough for their palates. Can I have one more, please? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of panna cotta, but, but I think today I have converted. It's still nice and firm, but just melts in your mouth when you eat it. That basil is so subtle. She has done an absolutely sterling job here. The peach is melting in your mouth. Granola, I, be, I love this. It's a bit of crunch into it. Everything on Hope's dessert is really well made. Two very good courses from Hope. So you've got four minutes, uh, Fatiha, on your first course. Fatiha starter sounds very interesting. Mackerel is very, very strong fish, we all know, and then how it is balanced with very pungent flavours of spinach, chilli and coriander, that'll be interesting to see. That, to me, is the beginning of an elegant dish. Well done, you. I've personally never had an aloo chop. I'm picturing it's probably quite similar to an aloo tiki, but hopefully it's got a nice bit of crisp kind of coating on it. Look at that. Someone's been putting a lot of thought in. Well done, you. Fatiha's starter is a mackerel, chilli, spinach and coriander salad served with an aloo chop spiced potato cake and mustard mayonnaise. I think she did a good job on the mackerel. It's, it tastes nice and fresh. It's, it's good for light starter, I think. To me, like, it's, it's absolutely banging salad. It's very refreshing. The aloe chop does have a lovely level of spice to it. It just needs a little bit longer in the deep fryer to really have a nice textural contrast against the rest of the dish. The mustard mayo brings a lovely freshness and creaminess that really pairs well with the mackerel and that lovely potato. This is fantastic. I like the fact that there's little bits of mackerel which are nice and oily, lots and lots of herbs, that's great. I don't mind admitting I'm rather taken with that. 15 minutes, the best fish curry you've ever done, right? Wow, classic Bengali dish. I, I love fish curries. It's, I, I expect it to, going to be very spicy and watery at the same time. It will um, be interesting to see if she's going to blow my head off or Oh, you're going to be very my curry. Maubergine Borta, I'm really intrigued by. It's something I've never tried before. So it'll be really interesting to see how she executes that. Fish looks beautifully cooked. See, you're done now. Breathe and smile. Off you go. Go, go, go. Very good. Hi, I've made you a um, basmati rice with a fish curry. It's haddock with um, Bengali vegetables called muki and an aubergine borta, uh, spiced with um, some chilli and tomato. You can breathe now. You can breathe now. <laughs> Thank you. That was so tough. I don't realise how hard it is. I know I can cook, 
But cooking under these conditions, it's crazy. I think she has executed it so well. Fish is cooked perfectly, it's just flaking away. The muki is cooked really lovely, really kind of absorbs all that lovely flavour from the sauce. The spiciness level is perfect, especially when you eat it with this brotha. We complement each other. The fish is cooked very, very nicely. The sauce has got a good amount of heat to it. The curry itself, I think, is fantastic. It's food she knows really well. It's delicious.